Hello. Hi, my beautiful Minnesotans. <laughs> We're back. We're back. Are you scared? Uh, thanks for watching Ask Nancy. Nancy, the realtor in the Twin Cities. We're answering any of your real estate questions and giving you a sneak peek at some of the most beautiful homes like today. Oh, and in yeah. today's video, we're gonna ask a, hopefully a really good question that you wanna know. What do buyers want to see in a house that they wanna buy? So, and sellers can think, hmm, if buyers wanna see this, maybe I should kinda set up my house to be like this so that buyers will buy my house. Absolutely, guys. I will tell you all the tips and tricks that I know of um, that would be great to utilize when we're trying to sell for, uh, you know, sell as quickly as possible and appeal to the most buyers on the market. So Nancy's been in the business for over 15 years. She's probably seen about 2 million houses <laughs> all over the Twin Cities, even Wisconsin and far, far away. So you've probably seen your fair share of like when a buyer peeks up or where it's like, okay, this house is not going to work. Absolutely. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> you know, I always tell, um, I'll, I always tell sellers, you know, that, um, it's really important. We get one chance guys, one chance to impress that buyer when they walk through that door. Right. So everything from the lighting in the home, um, to how the house smells, even your things and how they're arranged around the home. Right. So I always tell people not to, um, focus too much on, on, um, like if something looks aged, but we'll get into actually a walkthrough of, um, the kitchen area, which we're standing in a beautiful kitchen. So yeah, we'll show you what, um, we would recommend. So keep a close eye for these, all these pro tips in case you're ready to list your house and then buyers, this might be even tips for you that you might catch your eye, but Absolutely. really quick, we're going to do the five star Zillow review of the day. <laughs> I'll hold on to this. These are precious. I love these reviews. <laughs> Some yeah. of them are like novels. They're I know. Really good. Thank you so much to, you know, just people, clients I worked with in the past. It's such a wonderful joy to be able to get to know people, um, you know, learn about their families and for them to be kind enough to leave me a review. It's pretty sweet. So thanks a lot. It means a lot to me. I think it means a lot. They, they have entrusted you with like probably their biggest purchase in their lives. Absolutely. That's a big deal. Yeah. Okay. It's a big deal. So today's review is from... YSR45. Hi, YSR. <laughs> this is my first time ever buying a home. I was very skeptical. I wanted to work with I was someone. Just say that. <laughs> okay, I was she like, knows Bill. who I is. Yeah, I'm like, Bill was super skeptical. He grilled oh. me. Everything I told him, he was kind of like, Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wanted to work with someone who can put up with my, oh, with my needs and my demands. <laughs> okay, you're tough. Tough to please. Nancy was so patient with me and met my needs. We took over, oh my gosh, we took over six months to look over homes. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> and she was with me every step of the way. She didn't give up. She also taught me what's important to look for in a home. Oh, in, the, in a good home. What are the key things to look for in a home? And she showed me every house that I was interested in and went out out of her way for me. Oh my gosh, Nancy! Okay. <laughs> yeah, actually Bill and his wife were expecting, um, well, I think it just had to have their, their baby, their first baby. <gasps> their first one? Yeah, and he's actually from California, so a lot of it was like, okay, what neighborhoods, what areas are best, and Aww. yeah, we found him a great starter home, and it's time to upgrade, Bill. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Nancy is very easy to work with, and she knows what she's doing. I never felt pressured or rushed while working with Nancy. Oh. And she was great and she found me a wonderful home. <laughs> So yeah, that's actually really great. That's like the you know the most I've like ever you know if you if you were to meet him, he only says a few words. Oh my <laughs> so gosh! This, is a, this really was a novel. It was really awesome. So <laughs> okay, ready? So Nancy, I'm gonna flip the phone, and Nancy's gonna take us pro tips on what buyers love to see when they enter into a home. Are you ready, Nancy? Absolutely. Let's ready? do it. You ready? You ready? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna flip the phone. Okay, here we go, Nancy. Hey, it's terrible. We're in this beautiful kitchen, you guys. And we'll, you know, right after this video, we're gonna do a walkthrough, actually, a virtual walkthrough, so you guys can see what a gorgeous home and how they stage it and everything, right? So, um, first off, we'll start off in the kitchen up here, of course. And so, the first thing I'll tell you about is that, you know, we want to again create that, um, you know, be able to give a buyer that illusion of, if I were living here, how would it feel, right, when they're walking through the home? So if you take a look right behind me, like this beautiful stainless steel, um, you know, French door refrigerator. So the first thing I recommend is, first of all, clear the top of your refrigerator. 
Um, you know, I've got cereal boxes, and I mean, you know, we're, I'm Asian, so we have like boxes of noodles, and they're like stacked up because everybody likes their own kind. Um, and typically, when I'm getting the house ready for the seller to go on the market, we're going to clear everything off the refrigerator. Dust up there. If you're thinking, oh, do I need really need to clean? Well, yes, absolutely, you do, because people are going to be opening your cabinets, like you know, inside your pantry. Um, they're going to want to see how much the uh, how much space is in there. Um, so I typically say clear the top of the refrigerator and all of that wonderful artwork, um, your favorite magnets, you know, your calendar reminding you what day it is, all of those things, clear that off the front and of course the size of the refrigerator. Now, um, I would say a lot of people are looking at, hey, if I'm like cooking in this space, how much room do I really have, right? So of course this kitchen is blessed with a beautiful, large center island with a breakfast nook you know, over here that, um, you know, you can enjoy. So you can see it's really nice and clean, totally empty. Um, we actually had these boxes here just for <laughs> our camera, so don't, don't mind that. Um, but ultimately, you know, if we're looking at, we want to showcase this beautiful backsplash that um, someone has painstakingly gone in and done with great detail. So we're going to showcase that. Obviously, um, we've got some undermount light here, and if you can't afford to have this put in, um, you know, just like with cords and all of that, you know, they actually have some really great um, features now where we're just battery operated lighting that really showcases the cabinet or the uh, counter space that we're going to have. So, um, you know, when you're living in a house, it's very difficult to make it show magazine ready, but that's really the goal that we're looking at. Because remember that, you know, when um, a home buyer is walking in, or if they're looking online, they're laying in bed and they're kind of swiping through photos, they only are going to stop at a house or a photo that's going to really wow them, right? So I actually really like to have the counters completely clear. I even like to hide the Keurig machine. This is actually here for clients because we're in a model. Um, if people that want to have a coffee or something, but I'll hide the Keurig machine. I'll hide like the Instapot. I'll hide like the rice cooker, you know, uh, especially for photos. And it's just really important to have this area really clean because it's one of the main features that buyers look at when we're going through a home. Um, and then, you know, just having like less is more, right? So you can see over here, very simple, um, you know, we're moving towards white on white trends at this point. So you can see beautiful white cabinets with a white backsplash and a white and gray, um, you know, granite countertop here. So very simple, um, you know, just uh, giving that idea of like, hey, you know, I can imagine myself kind of just waking up in the morning and walking over here and grabbing some sugar for my coffee in the morning, right? So nice and simple. And of course, um, you know, maybe have a little bit of common sense, but of course no dirty dishes in the sink, right? So I make sure to have that clear completely. Um, and even like trash bins, I would hide those out of the way so that they're not distracting a buyer. I actually really love simple things like this where it's just kind of, again, you're, you're setting the stage, right? Giving someone the, the imagination that, hey, if I was in here baking with my kids, um, and I'm that, I'm that mom, I mean, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a mom, so I'm that mom making chocolate chip cookies with my kids like at 10 p.m. because they waited for 12 hours for me to come home. <laughs> So, um, you know, I'd love to be able to imagine myself in a space where I'd be able to enjoy it with my kids if I'm cooking. So, yeah, really cute, nice and simple, and I'm a big, I'm a big fan of, um, you know, full plants because I end up, I do end up killing a lot of plants. Um, and so, it's just a little bit of greenery, you can see that's a pop of color, and just really nice and simple. I mean, even this butcher block is very simple that you see here, but it's just gorgeous to really give someone that feel of, hey, this could be my kitchen, and, um, yeah, I would love being in this space. So that's kind of it, guys. So really nice and easy for you guys just to show you how you can get your house ready and what buyers are really looking for is number one, no clutter. Number two, as clean as possible. And again, number three, try to you know help them imagine the space, okay? So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week.